This is going to be the fourth and possibly final installment of Moving Mesh. Um, compared to the others, this is just 2D moving boundary instead of 1D. So we're going to be looking at this sh circle shrink and only be left with a rectangle. So what we have in terms of geometry is a one millimeter radius circle and just a rectangle. And as I said, we're going to watch the circle shrink. And so we're going to start with deformed geometry, and we're going to give this mesh some. We're going to give this circle some velocity inwards. So how do we do this? Well, the arbitrary velocity I'm going to choose is um, 0.1 millimeters per second. And in order to actually have it go in a direction, I'm going to multiply by the normal at the surface. So what this essentially says is if you look at the normal of the surface, it's going to go in that direction pointing inward. So anywhere on the circle, circle, the normal is a line pointing towards the center. Okay. So now I need to actually specify... Oops. Before I can do that, I need to say what's being able to be deformed. So I have free deformation in both, because both are deforming. I have a free mesh velocity that I was trying to do before. So only want the circle. Ah, okay. Okay, so all the boundaries in the circle will move inward now. Well, now they'll move inward because I want to go in the negative direction. And this is actually wrong, but I'm going to run it anyways and show you and then show you the fix for this. So pre please continue watching because this is not the final solution. Okay, and I also need to say that this boundary will not change in the Y, but will change in the X. So, oops. there's no change in Y, but any change in X. So that boundary will eventually come together. So, all I did was I had free deformation for both domains. I gave a prescribed mesh velocity for the circle, where it's the velocity times the normal. So it's going to take a fraction in each direction. And then since I have a one millimeter circle, I'm just going to do a time dependent. And at most I can do 10 seconds. So I'm just going to do 10 seconds and record every, let's just say 0.5. I need to add a mesh because obviously I didn't want to add one before. And for moving boundary in this case, I strongly suggest free quadrilateral. And I'm just going to do normal, something simple. And so if I build my mesh, what does it look like? Okay, we have a bunch of squares, a bunch of, sorry, quadrilaterals. And also one thing to do is on this deformed geometry, you can either, the default is this, shape order 2 and Laplace smoothing. I suggest possibly using one. You can use one or two to give some results. And now I'm going to run this for 10 seconds. And when I'm done, I should see no circle and just a rectangle. So right now it's solving. It's solved real quickly. And we get something really scary. So we can see the circle shrinking. Shrinking, shrinking. Okay, so one thing you notice is the top is shrinking, but the bottom is expanding. So what that means is Comsol actually took the normal to go out, sorry, to go into the circle. So we need to actually flip the sign on the interior part. So all we do is we give a prescribed mesh velocity, and we're going to do the same thing we did before. But on the bottom, we're going to flip the sign. So we're going to sign this to the bottom and to the bottom. And we're going to... We don't need these anymore. Okay. So what I did was... These two have negative, so they're going to go this way. So the normal is being driven this way, drawn this way by console. And so we're taking the normal in this way. 
And here, console draws the normal this uh, um, this way, so we want to go that way. Okay. So if I run this now, I should see my circle shrink. Okay. So that's one and a half. Much different than before. Oh, good, it's shrinking. 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 Oops, I wanted to zoom in. So now it's how it's getting smaller and smaller. So we're about to hit numerical errors now. Seven seconds. Okay, it's getting a little rough. Eight. It's getting a little wrinkly now. This is when you need to actually use a smaller time step versus your initial time step. And this is where it's going to be very bad. It looks like a crab. And now it looks like Picasso. So we made Picasso at the end. Our, so our circle shrank, but because of numerical challenges, as it got really small, we needed to actually change the time step smaller and smaller. So I urge you to actually retry this with a smaller time step, and you'll actually see um, improved convergence. So that is essentially how to do a moving mesh in two dimensions. So all the, the main thing you need to do is multiply your velocities, but multiply your velocity by the normal. And then run it for a constant velocity and just make sure you have everything in the correct direction. So that way you get a right solution. And that is all for deformed geometry. Thank you very much.